What is up guys, DeckerCrafter here, and if you need help with this tutorial, hit me up on Discord, it's going to be linked in the description. Make sure to DM me, don't say it in my general chat, I don't really check it, just shoot me a DM, for real. You can add me as a friend if you need to. Um, let's get right into it though. So we're going to be making a Pixelmon server for 1.16.5, you're going to want to go to reforge.gg. First though, let's check how much RAM your computer has, right click your little Windows icon, go to System, and then right here you'll see installed RAM, I have 16 gigs, you're probably going to want about 5, 6, even 7 seven gigs for your Pixelmon server, depending on how many people you have playing, and to run the game you need four, so if you only have eight gigs of RAM, you're probably going to run out. If you do need a server host, check the description, I've got a real cheap one, you can save 25% with code DECACRAFTER. Alright, now if you have enough RAM, let's keep going. You're going to hit download on 1.16.5 here. All right, and then you're going to wait the five seconds until you can hit skip. There's going to be ads here. Do not click on the ads, guys. This tutorial is completely safe. This is the only way to make a Pixelmon Reforged server. But if you click the ads and download something you shouldn't, that is not my fault. All right, so now we're just going to wait for it to download. While we're waiting, what you want to do, right-click your desktop, create new folder, and then you can title it whatever you want, Pixelmon server. You know, put it wherever you want, doesn't matter. Next, what you want to do while that's downloading. All right, so what you want to do is go to this website. It's linked down in the description. It's the Forge website, because you're going to need Forge to run the mod. You want to download the recommended 36.2.34, just like it says here on the Pixelmon mod. Hit the installer. All right, and it's going to be another one of these five seconds. Wait for the ad thing. So you're going to want to skip that as well. And then you're going to wait for that to download too. Now this tutorial is going to be real quick and easy for you guys. So please, if you want to do me a favor, hit subscribe. And if you got a hot mom, send her my way. Once your downloads are done, you can click here, show in folder. And you'll see both your Pixelmon and Forge in there. So now what you want to do is uh, take the Forge one, drag it over here into your Pixelmon server folder. Uh, the folder that we had just created. And then your mod, we're actually going to throw on the desktop for now. Because we don't have a mods folder quite yet. Now this is just the Forge installer, so what you want to do is double click this, we're going to do install server, we're going to change the location to our, uh, we're going to go desktop and select your Pixelmon server folder. Hit open, then hit OK. And you'll see it start adding stuff to this folder here. Alright, just so you guys know this can take quite some time. If it seems like it's frozen halfway through, just leave it be. All right, now we've successfully downloaded it. So we've got this file here called Forge. We're actually gonna rename this just for simplicity reasons. And we're just gonna rename it to server, just like that. And then right click, new text document, run. I'm gonna name it run, um, or you can name it start server, whatever you wanna name it. Open it up, and this is what we're gonna type into it. So I'm actually gonna change this to five gigs because Pixelmon does take quite a bit of RAM. And if you have multiple people joining your server, you're gonna want some more RAM. It, it, it could take six, seven, even eight gigs of RAM, depending on how many people you're gonna have. So this is what it needs to say. It's looking for server.jar, that's why we renamed that file. And then this pause makes it so that if there is an error, it'll just pause instead of crashing. Now what you wanna do is go to file, or it'll pause so you can see the error. Uh, save as, you're going to save it in here, but you're going to change the end of it to .bat. Hit save. And now if we close it, you'll see a new run document, which is a Windows batch file. And then you can actually run the server this way. So we're going to double click this. This is going to pop up. It's going to crash. That's totally fine. If you have that same crash, this is what we have to do with our run.bat. So we're going to go to edit. We're going to actually replace this Java. We're going to put two quotation marks here. And in the middle, this is what we're going to type. First, we want to open up File Explorer. Then what we are going to do after that is go to this PC, Local Disk C. Then you're going to go to Program Files. Once you go to Program Files, you're going to look for Java towards the bottom. Open that up. And then you can see I've got these different versions of Java here. And if you do not see a Java 8 here, we're going to actually go to, all right, so you're going to go to java.com, en, downloads, link again in the description, and you want to make sure you download Java 8. So this is the 64-bit for Windows, Java version 8. We're going to hit download Java. After that runs, you're going to click on it, install. All right, now that we have Java installed, if we minimize this and go back to this folder, you can now see the Java 8 here. You're going to open that up, go to bin, and then you'll see Java right here. Alright, so once you're in bin and you scroll down and you find Java, you're actually going to click up here at the top, and then you're going to see the file path. You're going to copy this, paste it in right here, and then add slash 
java.exe and now your run will work it's because minecraft's trying to use the latest version of java on your pc rather than the version required for 1.16.5 so this is how you fix it now we're going to close that out we're going to run again and it's going to crash one more time but not because of the java error all right you need to agree to the eula which is minecraft's uh, i guess rules for having a server which pretty much says that you can only sell cosmetic stuff um hit true and then you're going to run it again and this little window here, this is your server. So if this is not open, this is not running, your server is not up. All right, so we can see the server has loaded up and we can just type stop into here, press any key. And now we have our mods folder. So we're gonna drag the, pix we're gonna drag the Pixelmon mod into that mods folder. Then you can run the server again. To join your server, you're gonna have to go through a similar process so that you can actually play Pixelmon. This is kind of like a two-in-one. All right, so now we want to install Forge on our client. So we can actually take this Forge installer, just throw it on your desktop. We can take it out of there. We're going to run it again. It's going to ask you what you want to do. You're going to install client. It already knows where to install it. Hit OK. You should probably also go into your mods folder, right-click, and copy or Control-C, and copy the, my the Pixelmon mod. All right, now that Forge is installed on our client, we're going to open up Minecraft. All right, and if you click here, you should see a Forge 1.16.5 now. So we're going to select that. We're going to hit play. Hit play again. All right, go to installations if it crashes. Open up the folder. So in here, we should actually see the mods. Um, I'm going to get rid of these mods because obviously the, it's probably what's causing my crash. Uh, I'm going to throw Pixelmon in there. All right, hit play again. The reason mine crashed was because I had some old mods in there, but um, now we just have the Pixelmon mod in there. This part's super important. Make sure you're paying attention. I'm not trying to waste your guys' time. Please do not skip through the video. Um, you're, you're only going to end up screwing yourself over by doing that. We're going to go to multiplayer. We're going to actually hit add server server address you're going to type in localhost now localhost is just connecting to whatever server is hosted on your local pc so on your computer whatever server is being hosted that's what you're joining by typing in localhost you're going to hit done if we scroll to the bottom we'll see it right here you can hit play for your friends to join you will have to port forward go check out my port forwarding tutorial down in the description but now you successfully have your own Pixelmon server. Seriously, I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope it also helped you figure out some errors if you're running into problems as I did through the tutorial. Uh, and we kind of fixed it together and made sure that everything would be set. And again, when you're ready to close your server, go back to that black window, type in stop, it'll save and everything, and have a blast of a time. Also, if you need to make yourself admin on the, ser on the uh, console, we're gonna type in OP. Decacrafter, boom. Decacrafter has been opt. Now we can do game mode, uh, go into creative, fly around, spawn in items, whatever you want to do. Adios.